Hello, hello, hello. You're tuning into another episode of The Wonder Can Show. Today's first topic, more trouble in paradise. Look, so we had already covered that we are witnessing uh, John Harbaugh and the Ravens and the J.K. Dobbins drama slowly but surely start to escalate. And today, um, there was a um, press conference with John, of course, Mr. Harbaugh. And you could just see from his demeanor that he is not happy with what he's had to deal with so far with one named J.K. Dobbins. And I think that it's coming to a head. I think that it's starting to show. And I actually have the video for you guys to watch for your viewing pleasure. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the video of both, and then we're going to break them down, okay? So without further ado, there's two videos. Let's get it started. Look at his face. I really don't. You know, I expected JK to practice, and it just wasn't in the card apparently, so we just get ready for training camp. So... Look, that's a quick clip I took from the press conference. Very, very quick. And <clears throat> did you see his face? Oh, we, we, uh, well, I expected, I expected JK to be out there, but, you know, he just wasn't out there, so I guess I'll see him in training camp. Yo, uh, this does not look good at all. And I'm going to play another one for you. Watch what he says about, because remember, Gus or JK was not available. So all the reps went to Justice Hill. Look how he, um, look at what he said about Justice and what words he used to describe the hard work that he was putting in. John, J.K. and Gus not being on the field this spring. Justice Hill seemed like he took all the reps with the starting offense. How did he keep up? And yeah. How quick were you to get him back? He did. He did a good job. I mean, he uh, all his reps helped him, I think. He was looking... Uh, I, you know, repetition is the name of the game. You know, opportunity to get better. You know, you, you get better, you get worse. It takes 100% effort to get 1% better. You're going to say, well, he's throwing all these cliches out. Yeah, but they're cliches for a reason. Cliches There's truth reason. involved. Some of these are self-evident truths. You know? Self-evident truths. And uh, I, think, I think Justice made the most of it. So you heard that, like, Justice made the most of it. <laughs> Look, I'm not happy about this at all because I can already see where this is going to be a problem. And I remember... Y'all can't say that Nitro don't call stuff. Because before, uh, I want to say about a month ago, I, I, I specifically pointed out the J.K. Dobbins stuff, and I said, everything is okay when you're winning, right? Like, that might be able to keep some somebody like a J.K. quiet, silent. You know what I'm saying? But when they start to lose, that's when the chirping starts. That's when the talking starts. And you know what happens when you do that? People pick sides. People pick sides. Peter Piper picked a bottle of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? Oh, I'm on fire. Oh. And y'all know this. So then, how are we going to break this down? Are you guys worried about it yet? Because I'm worried about it. Because everyone's going to say, well, he'll just show up and he'll work. How will he show up? Everyone was saying, oh, JK's going to come back. Y'all are y'all are over-exaggerating. And he, didn't, he, he came and he didn't even participate. He came back and he was actually injured. Uh, and... How do we eat? Look, I'm not even going to say that. He said he's injured. He's injured. I know some people's going to be like, oh, he's trying to hold out, silently hold out, be difficult and stuff like that. I'm not going to put that on him. <clears throat> I think that that's a, a, a hard accusation to make for a player, so I won't do it. But it does leave something or some to the imagination or to wonder what's going on. And you notice how JK wasn't available for the media. He wasn't available for the media. And every time his, his, his name came up, you could, you could see the those were the faces during like the offseason when they had to deal with Lamar. <laughs> when they were dealing with Lamar Jackson, the agent, you know what I mean? Not the player, the agent. You know, because they call, you know, LJ is the player. Lamar is the agent. You can remember their faces. They were like, we don't want to hear that name no more. <laughs> And it's looked like that's going to end up happening with J.K. I'm hoping that it doesn't, but it's looking more and more like it's going to. It's looking like it. Everyone's going to say, well, we got months. They'll fix it, whatever. That's you coping. 
I told you already, the reason why I'm looking at everything so profoundly, so in depth, is because I want this year to go by smoothly. I want it to be a smoothie of a season. Extra cream. Pause. But you get where I'm coming from? That's what I want for this year. We all want that for this year. But what has this team been um, riddled with? It's been riddled with doubt. It's been riddled with injury. It's been riddled with bad, bad play calling, bad preparation, bad training. All those things encapsulated the past couple seasons. So don't get mad at me that I'm pointing stuff like this out. Because it needs to be pointed out. It needs to be addressed. Look, I know JK wants the opportunity to earn his money. And even though injuries held him out for about a year, he was never afforded the true opportunity to show what he can do because every time he got going, every time he started showing flashes of, oh my God, we would bench him. And he would just sit on the bench and sit there. And there was nothing more evident than the playoff game. And I think that holds a lot with him. So even though I know some fans are going to say, well, Greg Roman's not here no more. If it was you, would you take it personal? Because remember, when they do that, it's not just messing with what you want to do. It's messing up your money. Everything has a price. This is money related. Everyone has to understand that. He is, he's playing in a position that's extremely devalued, and he only has a certain or X amount of years to make as much as he possibly can. And if they're holding him back from garnering the stats that allow him to do it, he's going to start pitching a fit. And now, here's the kick. Here's the kicker. If J.K. could come back healthy, if he could come back focused, if he could come back ready, I think he's going to be an integral part of this offense. And I also am going to make a prediction right now. <clears throat> I have J.K., at roughly 1,100 rushing yards and 800 to 1,000 receiving yards. Because I'm telling y'all, the check downs are going to be going crazy this year when everything's covered and Lamar just wants to get the ball out of his hands. JK's going to eat, and he's going to eat because there's only going to be one-on-one -on -one coverage. And we all know that that safety has to keep their eye on Lamar. Every safety keeps their eye on Lamar. Where's, where's his braids? Oh, yeah, where's the guy with the braids? Where's number eight? Oh, yeah, I see, I see you, Mr. Demetrius Jackson. I'm telling y'all, that's how it be. They, everybody, listen, most quarterbacks, they're like, when you when you watch the um corners and safeties, even linebackers, they're watching their eyes and seeing where they're going to go with the ball. With Lamar, they don't even look at him. They're like, yo, you, I... Let them beat me. You're not beating me. And Lamar has proven more than enough that he can beat you with his legs. Lamar has won games strictly on his legs. He's won games with his arm, of course. I'm just pointing out that he's won games with his legs. So the, so the level of worry from the defense is different when they're playing him. So J.K. is going to not have all of the eyes on me treatment. He's not going to have the Eckler treatment. The Alvin Kamara treatment. You get the, 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 um, the Henry treatment. He's not going to have that. He's just going to be able to beat one person and go. There's going to be games where you're going to be like, yo, how did JK get 120 receiving yards? How did JK end up with 90 receiving yards? How did JK end up with, um, 150 receiving yards? I'm telling y'all. That's what's up and coming. But he has to be ready. He has to be ready. Whole new system. Different way to play. Training. And he has to be training at a high level because now we're looking at it. He's already injured right now. And he's worrying about that. Hopefully, he sees it as an opportunity to get his money. Because let me tell you this right now. If JK puts up 1K, 1K. He's not going to be a Baltimore Raven no more. <laughs> but he'll be able to pick his price in multiple opportunities. Because guess what? 
that will just solidify what everyone thinks about him. They'll be like all those times when he was going off at the end of the years and everything and all that stuff before he was hurt. It's like, oh, okay, he really is that guy. It's such a rare feat. And I think because of circumstances, basing that this is going to be a new offense, Lamar is going to be checking down more than usual. I feel like he's going to be calling out certain things, looking to get the singular, you know, one-on-one -on -one matchups with either running back, tight end, wide receiver, whatever. He's going to have more opportunity, JK, to be dynamic. And he's not going to have all eyes looking to corral him like all those previous years with the run game and Mark Andrews. So that's what I have going forward. But what do you think? Am I tripping again? Is Nitro going off the deep end? Let me know down in the comment section because I know there's going to be a lot of people saying some stuff in the comment section. All right? But once again, that's another episode of the Wonderkin Show. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Y'all already know how it goes down. We laugh, we talk, we jest. But everything we talk about is rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. If you, I love the comments. Just be respectful when you leave them. I know there's going to be disagreements, but that's always the way that we do it. Respect goes a long way. And if you would like to donate or to become a, um, a, a, a monetary fan of this platform, you can find the Cash App and the Patreon for the Wonderkin Show in the description of every video that we do and also in the QR code on this side of the screen. And the name of the Cash App for all donations is Money Sign The Wonderkin Show. So once again, this is The Wonderkin Show. This is your host, Nitro, signing off. And as always, you guys know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Yep.